No team in the country has won more football games since 2000 than Boise State. And under Brian Harson, the Broncos have won at least 10 games in four of the last five seasons, including three Mountain West Championship game berths. Hi there, I'm Jesse Kurtz inside the Mountain West Network studio, here with what you need to know as we count you down to kickoff with the Boise State Broncos. Replacing the Mountain West's all-time leading passer is not an easy task, but that's what the Broncos face with Brett Rippon now in the NFL. Boise State will turn to true freshman Hank Bachmeyer, who was one of the top high school quarterbacks in the country last fall. Bachmeyer, who enrolled at Boise State early to get a head start with spring practice, has had a great fall camp, earning the respect of his teammates. He always wants to learn, and he's just soaking up a ton of information, which is really going to help him for this upcoming season. And uh, as we all saw in his high school uh, highlights, he, he really was killing it. And like that's what we want to see at the college level. We just know that we got to help nurture him and help him understand how to run a college offense. But uh, I believe that he can, he can handle that. The one thing I never want to do with any player is, hey, we want you to be this, and we want you to be who you are. We have a system, we have a plan, we have a way we're gonna do things, but we just need you to be who you are to the best of your ability, and I think our guys have been doing that. John Hightower led Boise State last season, averaging 16.3 yards per catch, finishing the season with 31 catches for 504 yards. He's a big play threat on every down, having scored eight total touchdowns on just 39 offensive touches in 2018, six of which came on plays of 40 yards or more. John's got the uh, understanding of our system and, and what he needs to do within it to be successful. He's a speed demon, a great route runner, and if anything, he's a playmaker. Um, he's a dog, and he finds a way to get it done. Curtis Weaver is not only one of the top defensive players in the Mountain West, but the entire country. The junior, who is named the preseason Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year, enters the fall with 20 and a half career sacks, which ranks second most among active FBS defensive players. He's just two sacks shy of entering the Mountain West top five in career sacks. He prepares with purpose. I think he's intentional on what he does. I think he's got a lot of uh, energy and enthusiasm and excitement when he goes out there and the way he plays and it shows up. And so that's not just something you see on Sat you see on Saturdays and we see that every day. I think the biggest thing about him is he just has fun playing the game. You know, he just he goes out there and, and he makes plays and everything, but he's just fun to be around and fun a fun person to have on the defense and it's good to have that kind of chemistry with the guys that you're playing next to. And so watching him go out there and do his thing is is good for all of us and it's fun to be around. Boise State opens up the season with three non-conference games before Mountain West play kicks off at home against Air Force on September 21st. Game one against Florida State will be played in Jacksonville at TIAA Bank Field, home to the NFL Jaguars. It's a type of stage and opportunity that has built Boise State into a national brand. We're always talking about it. Uh, we're dialed, uh, there's so much urgency going on and we know that we gotta put up a good fight. And we gotta, we gotta work extremely hard to get where we need to be at and we need to really execute once we're in the lights turn on. To travel, to go on the road, you have that challenge. You have the challenge of Florida State, which is a very good program, very good team. And then you have the challenge of the first game and then these new positions that we're talking about. So our guys know, for us, there's a lot that we have to do before we step on the field against Florida State. One of the top goals every year for the team is to win the Mountain West Championship. They're going to have an awful lot back on defense. They also get three starters back who were injured during the year and missed the last half of the season. David Moa returns at defensive tackle. They also get Riley Wimpy at linebacker back and safety DeAndre Pierce. So the Broncos will have three guys with a lot of starting experience back to a defense that has a lot of starting experience. Galen Walker, really the only new face that will be starting on D as he takes over for Tyler Horton. The questions for Boise State go to the offensive side. They've got the starting line of linebacks on offensive line up front. They also have a very deep core of receivers, but they have running backs and quarterbacks that will be new. Alexander Madison and Brett Rippon have gone on to the NFL. 
for the running backs. Boise State's going to be hard-pressed to get a thousand-yard rusher, at least it would seem on paper, as both uh, Van Buren and Mahone have rushed for less than 200 yards last season. Might even see a freshman, George Halani, take some carries early on in the season. A lot to be found out about Boise State's quarterback and how well that person plays will probably dictate what kind of season the Broncos have. Thank you, Bob. Once again, Boise State opens up the season against Florida State on Saturday, August 31st. This countdown to kickoff has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.